everybody it's denise aka granny pearl and i'm a hot mess as usual uh dumpster diving granny i got a little box here from a storage unit haul uh the same one i've been working on for two or three weeks now so i had this box set aside to bring out earlier but i never um i lost it in the pile i lost it in the in the deep dark parts of the barn but i got it back because there's something really cool in here i may have shared with you already but i'm going to share it again this is a book uh ghost towns and back roads i think i'm going to read this one a nice little beatrice potter storybook let me cleaned up and get that gummy off of there um this was normally 19.95 and let's see when it was published Let's see if I can find, if you ever want to know, here in the um, first published, 1987. So, that's the only other date I see on here. So, this is uh, first published. I, does that mean it's the first edition? I doubt it. But Beatrice Potter, great children's stories. Tale of Peter Rabbit is in here. Very famous Beatrice Potter story. Creative Years and Lake, the Lake District. Lake District Farmer. This is this is another good read, even for adults. Okay, Sander. I haven't plugged it in, don't know if it works. But they usually do. They don't usually quit at this old age. It's Black and Decker. It's definitely older. Um but, you know, the only downside is they're wired and they're um, really heavy. But this is an on and off switch. It's electric. This is not bad for somebody who's really strong. Let's see if I, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't give you a date. But there it is. An old Black & Decker sander. I'm glad I found this because these books are getting terrible. I just thought this was a cool book. Uh, it was on sale for $11. Making Faces. Kevion Oxon. I think it's a makeup book, which is really awesome. I love makeup. Even guys are in here. How cool is that? I mean, just... Just basics on eyeshadow, eyeliner, lips. Look how beautiful that is. They have a name for these things. Anarchist. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Great book. Great book. And of course, vintage toilet paper. I kid you not. It's clean. It's still wrapped up. And hell yeah, I'm going to use it. Got two rolls there. Got to put charge this up. I don't know. It's kind of yucky. I think this, I don't know if this was from the, uh, the storage unit or a dumpster find and it got thrown in the box, but this is an Xbox controller. Kind of cool looking. Buttons seem to work okay. We just got to charge it and see if it works. There you go. I'm saving the best for last. VHS tapes still wrapped. I, I'm told there's a market for these. Um, up to six hours videotape VHS and a Polaroid. So I'll probably put those out on eBay. Somebody who specifically, I got a broken toilet, so I was looking for this, but I don't think this is any good for anything. Maybe the chain can be salvaged. This is the float. See that? But the, and this sticks in the bottom. So this was probably new, but old, super old. Manhunt, a VHS tape. Dawn Dragon Wilson. Um, I think this is a karate movie. Rescues a beautiful woman from a gang. Murder he didn't commit. Manhunt. Some people still watch VHSs. I have a VHS player, but I watch everything streaming. Oh, that's what I was not going to show you. Okay, here's another little condenser box for an old car. I should check these out on eBay. I have not. Little part to a car. 
condenser. I don't know if that's for air conditioning or or what. Barry Warner Automotive Parts. Um, it's falling apart on me. Borg Warner. Borg Warner. Doesn't say what kind of car. This is a lot of collectors just buy these for the box. So I should probably save the pieces and see if I can't glue them back together or something. Okay. And of course, what I always need, hangers. Hangers. I can never have enough hangers. I love clothing and I have two closets. Plus I have clothes here. I don't sell a lot of clothes, as I've said before. But here's the big the big deal. Yes, indeed. MacBook Air Super Drive. Uh, I know I looked this up. I can't remember what it was going for. Uh, I don't have a MacBook. It's got the charger cord. I'm going to charge it up. It's brand new. It's got all the um, paperwork to it. There's a bigger box somewhere that it goes into. So it's Apple Air Super Drive. Air Super Drive. And I don't know if that's where you put a CD-ROM and you save it on CD-ROM or you just hook this up to your computer and it has memory in it. I don't know. I don't know. If you know, let me know below what you know about these things. Like I said, it does have value. It looks to be new. I don't have a Mac, so I can't really try it out. I might be able to put it on my phone. I don't know. It's got the cord in it. It doesn't look like it came with a charger, so it can't be that old because they don't do the charger boxes anymore. Let's see if I've got a date on here. Apple. USB 2.0. So no, I think that's a little bit um, older technology. I'm not sure. I've been out of the tech world for a while, so don't know a lot about it anymore. I mean, they lost me. I think I was, 2.0 first came out, I was still working in the industry. So it says, requires a MacBook Air computer USB 2.0 port. Yeah, there's no date on here, so I don't know how old this technology is. But it looks like it takes a CD-ROM, which is weird, right? Okay, well, there it is. There's the big surprise. That's it for today. That's today's haul. One box down and probably 50, 60 more to go. Hey, go save some money.